Jack, what do you, I guess, what, what are the main things you take out of yesterday's game? I think we've got a few learnings to come from yesterday's game. Um, obviously disappointing to, to lose, but I think some guys got some good opportunities. We've had a few inexperienced guys uh, get an opportunity to press their claims for round one and um, some good things come out of the game and, and also some things to improve. So going forward, there's obviously a lot of work to do before uh, round one kicks off, but that's uh, the first you know, sort of competitive hit out uh, this year and it's exciting for us to get that up, uh, out of the way. What did you make of Twin Overs? It's a good deck, very nice deck, especially the weather leading into the game. I think there was a fair bit of rain around, so we weren't too sure what to expect, but the, uh, the surface was unreal. So it was a little bit windy out there, but you know, we've had that a few times in Hobart now and uh, uh, we probably didn't handle it too well actually yesterday, but that's something we can work on as well going forward. Giving those uh, young guys a run, so I guess, uh, you know, what were your observations of them uh, just throughout the game? Yeah, I think pretty positive. Um, we had a few key defenders, Sammy Durden and, and Benny Mackay, obviously Madge down there as well, uh, relatively inexperienced in defence. I thought they did quite well under some, some trying conditions at times. Um, Luke Davis, Uniac, was, was pretty impressive, I thought, through the midfield with some things he did. Um, and it was good to see a few other guys, Billy Hartung, come across from Hawthorne and, and show why he's a quality player and what he can add to our footy team as well. So we've got some exciting signs going forward. How do you see that midfield shaping up, obviously, with that mix now? It has changed a bit in the last 12 months, even 18 months. It has, yeah. We've got, I think, a little bit more depth through there. Um, some guys that will probably rotate through, obviously, Luke Davis, Uniac, and Jai Simpkin, and Trent Dumont, myself, Sean Higgins, Ben Cunnington, these type of guys who can float through the midfield, probably allows um, ourselves to, to be able to put that forward rotation in, in motion a little bit more and uh, we did that a little bit yesterday but it's, it's also a little bit tricky in the JLT when you when you do have you know six or eight on the bench and um, trying to work out your rotations everyone sort of struggles for a bit of game time so I think the next pre-season game might be a bit easier to um, organise some structure stuff and some rotations and, and work those forward mid um, rotations a little bit better and I think this is going to add a little bit more depth in there and, and allow us to go forward a bit more which should help us in the future. Yeah, you, you sort of still have to realise that it is the first pre-season game and any competitive player that wants to play always wants to win and that's no different for us as players. We wanted to win yesterday, unfortunately we didn't and um, you look at the scoreboard and it's, it's probably a little flattering. Um, I think it was 50, 55 points or something like that, so that's definitely not ideal And um, but I think the more important thing is the learnings we can get out of that and getting our structures and setups right and the way we want to play footy um, right before we get into round one. So. The reason for these games is is to, to iron the creases out, and um, we're looking to do that over the next couple of weeks. Just a bit more on Hartung, I guess, as far as you know, uh, pickups go. He looks like already he's going to add some serious value to the squad. He does. He's uh, he's elite attributes. Obviously, he can run and carry. He's elite kick when he gets the ball, especially in time and space. And I think we saw that yesterday with his ability to break the lines and probably something we've lacked over the last couple of years. So um, really happy to get Bill across, and he's been outstanding this preseason. Um, everything he's done has been top notch and looking forward to him slotting in hopefully in round one. Um, Byron the coach is not picking him so it should be should be good. What do you make of the conversations around Tassie footy at the moment? Yeah I'm um, obviously not probably as well across it as you guys are but I think Tassie footy is, is pretty big for Australian footy and I think you know, our club especially is pretty well invested in, in footy in Tasmania, as you can see today um, with the majority of our squad or all of our squad in Tasmania for the community camps and um, I think we've got the next generation academies coming out of here so we're putting a lot of time and effort and resources into Tasmanian footy and, and hopefully that can get back on track because it's, it's good for Australian footy as well. You mentioned Luke, obviously there's been a bit of hype around him and I know there's been some suggestions saying to temper that and maybe not be but when he shows what he did yesterday it's hard not to get too excited about Lee Bings and what he could do. It is, but it's not just you know our first pick. It's if we've got a lot of young guys at the moment who are showing quite a, a few attributes that excite us all as players and, and especially as coaches. But for Luke, you know we can't expect too much out of him straight away. You realise that he's an 18-year-old kid and he's going to take time to develop and and learn the game and and you know become a, a player he wants to become. So. For us, we, we just wanted to play his role each week and, and we started well yesterday, did some really good things and um, you know, guys that get drafted in the top 10, 20 and 30 um, have all got elite skills in certain areas and I think yesterday he showed a couple of those and um, there probably will be some hype but, but from our point of view as players, you know, we just wanna, want him to be a player we want to play with and that's by playing a role and he's been doing that fantastic this preseason.